Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Kuya Paul, and you're listening to the Love and Other Metaphors podcasts. Um, once again, name's Kuya Paul, and uh, you can find this podcast on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on whatever I decide to put it on. Actually, <laughs> probably on my um, my WordPress as well too. I just started redoing my blog, so you'll probably find it there. Um, you'll also find links on it on my Instagram, Kuya Paul Poetry. Also, once again, Facebook at facebook.com slash Kuya Paul Poetry. Um, so, hey, yeah, welcome. Um, it's just me once again rambling um, on so many different things that are going on in my life. Okay, so um, I came in with one particular theme that I wanted to talk about, but I guess I should start um, talking about... Um, like maybe just catching up uh I, I like taking a moment to just kind of catch up on my life and what's going on right now number one it's cold la got so cold all of a sudden um it's not like super cold like it is in like everywhere else but um yeah it's pretty dang cold um yeah my body's not used to it so yeah i was talking to a couple of my friends and it's funny like i have to i'm, I'm finding myself bundling up uh like more and more um, because I'm not used to the cold and my theory at least um, I think it's a pretty good theory uh, it's because at uh, um, ever since I lost weight um, I don't have as much insulation anymore I think that's true to a certain degree <laughs> because yeah I'm getting cold like it's like like I remember when I used to just like like go out t-shirt pants whatever on like maybe like high 40 degree weather like 48 47 even to 45 and i'll be like oh it's okay maybe i'll put a sweater on maybe now it's like 60 degrees and i'm like it's so cold then it gets to 50s and i'm just like i need my jacket and then 40s are just like i don't know what to do anymore i'm not used to bundling and it's affecting me like physically because it's like oh my gosh like i'm getting stuffy nose i was just like i have to learn how to bundle i'm not used to this i'm not used to like trying to get myself warm um, because yeah, like, you know, when you're bigger, you tend to keep warm longer. Um, and that's it too. Like, because I work outside, um, I tend, I, I tend to, um, get like, it's hard for me to warm up. Um, I'm finding that before my body used to kind of store up the heat and it took me a long time for me to feel the cold, like a good, maybe like four or five hours or something. Now it's just like a couple of hours and I've lost my warmth and I need to warm up again. So, yeah, that's something that's going on with me. Um, and uh, thank you for everyone who has um, uh, seen me lately and said I was losing. I am I'm losing weight. Um, so I am losing weight, um, not doing any particular diet. Um, I'm just kind of watching what I like, kind of what I eat. I'll be honest, I'm not really watching everything that I eat, but I am watching the portion and I'm listening to my body more. And a lot of it kind of has to do with that. Um, there's a lot more. Um, I definitely want to go on a particular regime um, sooner or later for health reasons um, to just be healthier and have more energy. But I am losing weight and it's predominantly because when my body says you're full, I'm like, yeah, I think you're right. And I don't pick out anymore. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I, every now and then I'll have a, like kind of a pick out session. So sh- like um, today I uh, went to Townsend's. Um, it's a Chinese restaurant near um, my house. Family went over there and we celebrated my sister's um, birthday. And yeah, we all picked out. That was fun. And uh, yeah, with that, like you have every now and then you can just like, you know, kind of let yourself go and and just have fun. Um, food can be fun, but just like everything else, like you have to have it in moderation. Like, you know, like. I guess anything that's fun like video games are fun but if you do it like for 40 hours straight there's something wrong <laughs> um and so on and so forth um yeah just everything in, in moderation it's okay to have fun every now and then um but in the moderation that you're keeping yourself safe and other people safe around you yeah that's my that's my gist but yeah I am um kind of losing weight um and yeah I'm kind of having kind of having a lot of fun with my life a lot of personal uh things within my life that i'm willing to share just not right now because they're in hiatus or like well not in hiatus they're like in transition um 
but I'll definitely share it in the next coming podcasts uh, in terms of my transitions in life in the next month or so. Um, but yeah, I'm like for real excited about what's going on uh, with my life. And um, yeah, this podcast will be centered on an, uh, one other thing. Now that I've caught up with you guys, um, this podcast will be centered on um, a movie that I watched a couple weeks ago and a movie I watched a few days ago. It was the same movie. Um, and just my love for that particular genre, um, and what else, whatever else I ramble about it, but yeah, I, uh, watched last year, um, I watched the, uh, the movie, uh, The Greatest Showman, um, it, I had a lot of fun, it was, it was a great movie, I'm starting to hope that every December, like everyone else, like, in terms of movies, that's usually when, uh, like the Star Wars movies come out so it's like the Star Wars month but I'm hoping that December becomes musical month um, where musicals just come out in December or like November and then I watch them in December uh, me and a friend of mine shout outs to Sharissa uh, we've kind of made it so far tradition um, but it's only been the last two years if the third year if this year like there's a musical coming out in December I'm going to be ecstatic I'm just like yeah gotta watch the musical if not maybe I'm f- we're just gonna buy like a me like like theater musical and then just watch a musical that that year because december to me has become musical month and i'm really excited for that um yeah i just i, I really liked it um it's funny because like in, in terms of the movie itself in terms of the reviews people were um not too good about it they were just kind of like mixed reviews in terms like like critically acclaimed reviews were kind of in the middle ground but what i i think people i think people were trying to say is just like they just they just miss musicals they miss having fun they miss choreography they miss um they they miss uh physical talents um that's not to say and i'm not trying to like bog down anyone like like the whole acting genre I, i love great actors i love people that can tell stories um and play characters and 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 bring you to that place (laughs) <laughs> within their um with within their within what they do um as as actors actresses um where they can help you forget um the they can uh, the uh the whole um um what is that called suspension of disbelief and they can really just bring you to that place where like you forget that you're that you're watching <laughs> That you're even watching a a, a a a movie, you feel like you're just watching real life happen in front of you because it's so mesmerizing, and it's so believable, and it's and, and there's there it's just it's just overflowing with talent. All that being said, there's something about physical talent, dance, choreography, um, that kind of um, that kind of genre that I, I just I just love. I, I kind of grew up with it. I mean, as as a kid. I really liked the I like I don't know like I grew up with two sisters, they liked watching things like that like musicals. My mom liked watching musicals. My dad was okay with it. Um, I mean, my dad liked to sing, so um, he was a praise and worship leader at our church. So I think in terms of kind of musical talents, um, choreographed talent, um, we've we've always been akin to it um, as as a family. Um, I remember even going going to church. We we used to do when I was a kid. Um, our children's ministry didn't just sing numbers. We actually did. We actually did pretty interesting choreography. We had dances. We had all this stuff happen. It was it was it's, it was quite interesting. And I I think even though we thought it like as a kid, I thought it was corny to actually dance them. I I liked I liked watching some some musicals. I remember uh, like Sound of Music. Uh, that was when me and my sisters loved watching throughout the years. Um, we liked watching that. We liked watching... Oh, can't think of any... I mean, we liked watching Disney movies. Live-action Disney movies were filled with choreography. Mary Poppins. I know it's the same actor, right? It's um, Freak. What's her name? Uh, uh, I don't, oh, I forgot her name. Ju- Julie Andrews? Julie Andrews. Um, but yeah, like... Um, we like I, I liked watching kind of that physical entertainment, um, just dance, choreography, singing, um, musicals. Fr- frigid love it. Um, I, um, when I got older and I was able to somewhat afford it, watching Broadway musicals was really great. I kind of regret never watching uh, Wicked live, um, but I've watched so many others. 
Um, my family, I think, last year watched The King and I, um, which was really great. Um, uh, I remember as a teenager, I watched um, Les Miserables at the Amundsen Theater live. It was awesome. I didn't even know, like, you know, about Les Miserables or anything. Like, my friend had to tell me. Uh, but when we went together, it was it was really good. It was just like, like the, the the way that they the way that they performed the play, musical, the whole gamut was just awesome. Um, it was very mesmerizing. Very, like it, it was very um like it it brought you in. It used the entire theater. Um, we were even talking about the other day. Um, uh, my sister and my brother in law watched. Um, Aladdin, the Broadway musical, and they love, they liked it. They did definitely say it's like, oh yeah, it's not like the movie, which is fine. Um, it's definitely a musical. Um, I remember watching like the whole Aladdin musical at the Hyperion Theater uh, at um, Disney's California Adventure uh, so many years ago. Even Frozen, which I'm not a fan of Frozen, but you know what? Like that spectacle, I really do adore. I, I adore the idea of kind of dance and choreography i grew up with it that all that being said going back man i love the greatest showman um i think it's not just liking the greatest showman in particular but it's also liking the fact that um that slowly but surely the like that that genre of musical and 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 um and the broadway spectacle is kind of coming back um, I, I, I don't know. I, I like it. I like singing, dancing, stuff like that. Um, I like, uh, I like, I like thinking in my head that, um, that, that in order to become an actor slash actress in Hollywood, you have to be a really great renowned actor, actress, but you also have to know tap dance and you also have to have like, you know, like learned a little bit of ballet or something like that. I like to think that like when you look at a headshot, um, like the top tier people are the people that, that have done like really really deep theater um have 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 really um like acted on some um, um very thought provoking um uh movies but at the same time um like they're like they're perf- like like they've they know how to dance the waltz or or again tap dance i wanted okay so like last year when i watched la la land oh not last year 2 years ago 2 years ago when i watched la la land that movie made me want to learn tap dance. I was, oh man, I regret not YouTubing. Maybe I should. I'll, I'll YouTube it. I'll learn it. Uh, like, like, I, I think it's that 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 part of like what I've always, um, adored about being outside of Hollywood and thinking about what like the ins and outs of what Holly quote unquote Hollywood would feel like. It's just a bunch of like people, um, striving for talent, getting better at um at at both their 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 acting chops but also like their kind of like like physical um physical performance as well too i always feel oh when i was a kid i always felt that way um and i think that that's that that was some kind that was what quote unquote hollywood was to a lot of people it's just this place where you just got to play um but you had to be good at it as well too um and i know that there have been some movies out there that have shown kind of the dark side of what hollywood could be um, last couple of months, we've seen a lot of what the dark side of Hollywood is in terms of trying to get ahead and being um, um, being confronted with uh, really um, uh, dark decisions and morality. However, I think there is still a spirit of create uh, cre- like kind of uh, like a creative spirit that still resides in performance. Um in terms of Hollywood, I in terms of like the industry, I, I definitely have friends in it. Um, have a lot of people that have, um, that I've been able to um, either work with or talk to, um, that make me really adore the good aspects of the industry. Can't really say personally if I'd ever really want to dive deep into it. I have my misgivings. I have my convictions, um, spiritual convictions as well too. It's just I don't know if I could ever do something like that. However, I do like to play. Um, I, I think that it, it goes back into when I was a kid and um, when we used to do all these performances at church and everything. We actually did one play called The Quake at one of, at my church when I was a teenager, and I played, um, I played, I, I played the key role. I played the guy, like the, yeah, I just played, yeah, I I, I played the main character, 
and I had to act my tail off and I also had to sing <laughs> I was in a musical at church I forgot about that man I think I might still have a video of that it's funny my cousins like my cousin played God that was so funny it was so big I should have played God because my cousin was so skinny scrawny and we're just like we're just assuming this guy's Jesus because he's just like coming out of the clouds it's funny um, but at the end, it was it was it was it was dope. I I I I really, I remember the song too. I was um a place in this world. It was um, it it, it was kind of corny the way that we did it. But I remember it's like looking for a reason, going through the night to find my place in this world, my place in this world, not a lot to lean on. Going through the night to find my place in this world, my place in this world. It was cool. Like I get to sing that song, or at least like pantomime, and I forget. Um, oh, and I've been to like I've, I've done a lot of like choir stuff uh, for uh, for my church back when I was like in my late twenties and stuff. My sister was a choir director uh, for a few years, and uh, yeah, I got to do that stuff as well too. So I do. I love performance. I love performing. I think. One of the things I love about my my poetry is I get to go up on stage and perform, um, but it's also like performance in in lieu of being um, being an example of who God is and and in my performance and the excellence I try to portray in it to point people towards uh, towards God and towards uh, towards faith in Him and towards knowing His love and His mercy and His grace. It's why I do my the, the stuff that I do. That's why I quote unquote perform in in, in my aspect and. I get this from my friend. Another shout out to Jason Chu because I always thought a lot of um, a lot of performance was worship based. But he taught me that you know some performances, yes, they can be worship based, but they're also um, message based. Um, it's also a way of preaching. It's also a way of teaching. It's also a way of evangelizing to people. The message that you portray in your in in, in your in my poetry, in 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 song, in in performance uh, can be a message to the people so I, th I think that that's one of the reasons why i like it because you know i like to talk that's for sure that's the reason why i'm doing a podcast but at the same time it's it, it, it i also like to share a great message and i think performance can do that a lot so i think performance has a very rich heritage of showing people the ideal like the, I the ideal aspect of what our life could be and i think uh, especially within my faith that's one thing that i always want to portray to portray god's love mercy grace god's hope and portray it in my performances so that's it uh for me this one's a bit short but um i hope you got the message this is my metaphor once again this is the uh love and other metaphors podcast my name is Kuya paul once again check me out on facebook and instagram uh, facebook.com slash queer poetry and instagram.com slash queer paul poetry i'll talk to you guys again but until then thank you god bless this is my metaphor <laughs>